Welcome again. In this video, I will uh, show you how we can uh, use Django REST API and uh, Angular and we can do a full CRUD. CRUD stands for uh, Create, Update, Read and Delete. And that's all four methods, uh, most popular methods uh, that uh, are used with the REST API. And uh, that's uh, using method get, post, uh, put and delete. And we'll do that with using Django and Angular. And I can show you how we can connect it both uh, frameworks, front end and back end. I have two uh, other videos on YouTube where I uh, use Django and Angular to register user and login user. So go to my account to check that out if you need it. In this video, we'll focus on uh, CRUD. So what we'll need to uh, do is we'll need to set up a quickly uh, project here. I'm not gonna go uh, into much details here because um, we need to hurry up. We have a lot of uh, things to cover. So uh, what you can do is I have a full course uh, about uh, Django and uh, Angular on Udemy and I can give you um, a coupon code under this uh, video. So if you're interested in more details of what, what we're doing here, you can use that uh, coupon and the full course is 15 hours long. So you will uh, know that much in details. Okay, so let's get starting. We need to uh, act facts because there's a lot of co uh, things to cover. So first we will need to create two applications. One will be Django uh, and another will be CLS. Another one will be Angular, as you can see here. And we'll use that uh, two quick starts to, to do it. We are opening our terminal. I will go to desktop and we can create new folder. Django. And then going to that folder, we're inside. So we need to create virtual environment. We need to activate it. And now we have our virtual, uh, virtual environment activated. I can install Django. And that will install in a second. It will need to download the uh, uh, Django and install. As I said, I'm not gonna go uh, into details uh, what uh, all that means, but if you're interested, you can check this out on my uh, full course. And now we need to install Django REST frame work and this is exactly how it is in this uh, tutorial uh, so I will provide a link to this tutorial so you can follow the steps as I'm doing so next thing we'll need to do is create our project so we are inside here so I will create a project we're not gonna name it tutorial I will do Django crude and remember that for that dot at the end so we need to go into that folder and then we need to start up our, our application, create application. So we do Django crude and then inside we go, we need to do this and our application will, will be named API. And we have all that. So what we need to do is we need to to migrate and then create super user. But so to do that, we can uh, do that inside the uh, ID already. So we'll open PyCharm. This is community version, which is free. Django and open it here. In here, I have terminal. The virtual environment is automatically activated. So we need to go inside Django. CD Django uh, and inside that Django crude. Actually, I don't need to. Uh, if I do ls, I have already managed Py, so I can run, run all my commands from uh, from this point. So I can do uh, as it was in this tutorial. You have my migrate, so I can go migrate and you, we uh, apply the migrations. Now we also need to create a super user like that. Christian is fine. Email address, we don't need to pass it. I will do a password Christian again. 
and we have our super user. So what we can do now is we can run server. And if I click on this, you can see our application is already up and running. So we have our application uh, done. So what we can do next is we will copy a few bits and pieces from here. So we need to create a mm, new uh, file serializer. So we'll go to Django Crude. That's our API here inside. I will create new file. So serializers. API and I will paste it here and we'll change it for uh, something our own but the easiest and fastest way will be just to copy whatever they have here and that change it for our own need so inside views we can paste it here we need to change this so we don't have a tutorial we have Django crude and Django crude and our application is API group serializer we don't need so for now it's like that another thing what we need to do is URLs so we'll copy entire thing and inside our URLs I will copy for now that here and we'll just take the part that we need so this is our API uh, sorry, this is our Django crude API. This is where we have our reviews. And then we have our routers. We don't need to have group. And then we include that uh, inside. So I don't need to... Actually, I can reuse the admin. This is something that was uh, there when we installed uh, this Django. So we have our admin here and then I can remove that and we have everything actually that comments we don't need. So I, I took a new thing from the RESTful framework from this uh, page. I copy everything and I just left the admin that was uh, there when we installed the Django. So we'll have that. Basically, it will include our uh, view set into a URL so we can use it. But this admin part, if I go to our server running here, if I do slash admin, I can use the Christian and Christian password to log in and this is my this is my administration section so I, I can create new records here so first what we'll need to do is we'll need to create our own model so let's go here we don't have any models and we can do class movie and that will be models model and then we can create some fields for that model title models char field and then we can do max length. We have to do for char field 32. And I can duplicate it and I can do description, for example, and that will be 256. And I can do year models integer field. And we can leave it like this. So we have our model here. What we'll need to do also, we need to have ser serializer and view set. So we have our model. We don't use user, uh, we don't need user here. So I'll do movie serializer. I can do like that, and that will be movie. So we have our uh, movie here, and we'll need to also import that. So from models. From models import movie and we have our movie and we have the title description here also I will include ID which is built in a uh, field in all models And we have our uh, view set set up. Then we need to use a serializer as well. 
So we go to uh, serialize. Uh, so this is our serializer. We also need to do a view set. So we'll change this to movie. And that's from serializers. And then that's our movie serializer. So basically we just uh, took whatever was there in uh, their tutorial and we changed it for our movie uh, for movie model. Uh, so all representation for a user we've changed it for a movie and then I need to also do models movie. So all that is done then we need to also change the URL and URL movies and then you have movie view set so we also need to add this into settings inside installed apps And we have our server uh, running now. So we have our model and we've created for that model three fields. Uh, we also have a view set. That view set will use our uh, model uh, to select all the models from our database and we can use our movie serializer for this. And our serializer is basically the way we want to format our movie data. So we'll use our movie model and we'll uh, use these fields inside. So basically that's all set up and in the URLs we also have uh, that include URLs this part and it will include my movie view set inside. So if I will go now into my application here and I can do movies and actually there is no table because we haven't run migrations yet. So I can do terminal here, I will close this. I can do make migrations. So we uh, are created migrations and uh, in that migration all our information about the movie uh, has been created. So we need to do migrate and that migrations will be applied on our database. Now the, uh, that's, that has been applied. So now our database includes our movie model. So if we repeat it here come back. So we need to run server now. Server is running so we can reload and that means um, there is no template uh, for, uh, for the movies but we can go back here into admin and it's still not here so we need to add it to admin page as well. So I go here and then we have um, we need to go to admin and then we can do admin site register and then we register a movie. We also need to import from models import movie. So if I will save it, now I will refresh it. I have my movie here and we don't have any records. So quickly if we can create Titanic nice drama and then I don't remember the, the year let's say it was 1990 and then I will add another one Avatar And I also don't, don't remember this year, so we have two records here. And now we have something that we can uh, work with. So that's our uh, Django application uh, running. We will try to do something here. And so now we, now we can uh, start doing our uh, front end, and then I will show you how we can connect both of uh, of those. So this is already done. So what I can do is I can go back to my desktop. 
and I'm on the desktop at the moment and we will use uh, this Angular CLI method so I'll create new application and we'll serve it so let's go back to terminal I will do ng new and then we can create uh, our application our application will be uh, let's say crude An Angular will, will be downloaded and it, it will create a new project for me. And now Angular has been uh, installed, so we can actually open that in the Visual Studio code. So this is also a free text editor. As you can see here, we have this project already created so we have everything set up for us so we can go source application and we have our component here and uh, if I will do cd crude ng serve it will start our application and then copying this URL we can start our application here. So it's being compiled successfully and you can see application here. So we have our uh, welcome to CRUD application. So what we can do now, we have this front end. So we go to HTML, remove this and I can have the list items there because we'll reuse it. And then I can have a list of movies. And here we can print our list of movies. So we do ng4 let in movies and then we can have movie title let's see if that will work so we will go to our uh, component yes and we can add this uh, movies here so movies it will be array with some objects so I will do a uh, title and then first one will be the tonic. At the moment we'll use we'll use static array and then later on we'll change with our dynamic from our database and do uh, avatar. Avatar and that's it. So let's see if that's working. We go here, refresh it, we can inspect the elements. And probably we have some errors. Uh, we need to change uh, this of movies, and we have our uh, movies here. So list of movies and that's our uh, Titanic and Avatar. At the moment this is not coming from our uh, Django. This is a static list that I have created. I have created in um, my component here. So that's uh, my array. What we need to do now is we need to replace it with something that will uh, communicate with our API and get the, this list a dynamic. So I'll revert it to just one record. And let's say that will be something else, not to make a mistake that it's coming from the API. If I refresh it back, this is test. Okay, uh, good to go. What we can do is we, we need to uh, communicate with our API. For this, we'll need to create a new uh, service. So what I can do is I can shut this down. Actually we can uh, close this terminal and I can uh, open new terminal in 
if I do view I can do terminal and my terminal is here I'm already inside that project so I can do ng generate generate uh, service and we can call this service API and new service has been uh, added so we have a service here and here this is spec files are the, for the testing we are not gonna cover any test so we go straight to the service and this is our service here so what what we need to do is we need to we need to enable HTTP uh, model I will make more space so we can import the, this HTTP model in site constructor private HTTP HTTP client this one we're looking for and it is been automatically imported actually this is not the client we want to have it so we will ha we want to have it from angular angular http this one angular common and then http this one so we have our http client that we can uh, use and then we can create our first method here so get all movies it will re return obser observable any and inside here we can do return http get and we'll have our uh, get here so URL first thing first we can create base URL here and basically our URL for now is this mm, that's our URL here so we have that and we can copy that inside here and we can reuse it as a base URL so what we need to uh, pass it here so we'll do this base URL and then we can do plus movies we need to do slash movies you also need to do uh, uh, some headers so we do HTTP Headers new HTTP headers like this, and then inside I can do uh, headers we want to use. We can do content type. content app application JSON and we'll use that headers here I'll move it to another line so basically we have our headers here which is content type application JSON that's supposed to be capital letter content type application JSON and then we have uh, our method here that will uh, return observable and we have we return our get call to our uh, API which is this URL here and then slash movies and then we use that HTTP uh, headers which is uh, telling um, application that would be a type of application uh, JSON so we have our, our method here what we need to do is we need to reuse that so if we go here we need to uh, first thing first we need to import that so I will do constructor and doing we can do private and then I can do API uh, and then it will be API service that has been imported we also need to do it in providers 
providers and then I can use API service like that and we have that inside our uh, constructor now we can inside also here we can do get movies movies we need to create that method so we can create here using uh, es6 uh, syntax arrow functions So inside our constructor when our application will start, the, our uh, components will start, inside constructor we will try to get the movies and we have our uh, function here, that's our method that we will use and inside here we will need to get the um, list of the movies from our API. So what we do is this API which is this uh, service and then we have uh, get all movies method here and it will get all movies uh, for us then we need to subscribe on the we need to subscribe on this observable and then we can say data we'll do something in case of error we can do something so console log error and then if we'll have the data so we can say this movies data so we have our in our inside our uh, inside our service we return uh, this call and we return an observable so we subscribe to that observable here and whatever is coming from that uh, observable if we'll have the data we'll assign it to movies and movies it's our uh, variable that we previously used it as a fixed uh, one um, aligned test and we'll replace whatever it's on the server so let's try it now we need to uh, ng serve here that has been built so let's go back to our application here and we have connection refused so uh, localhost uh, socket has been uh, refused let me no actually that was the last one so we have no provider for HTTP client we also need to import that inside our uh, modules so we go modules and we need to uh, import HTTP client here we have HTTP client and we need to also import it here so our model knows that we inside that uh, application we will use uh, inside that app inside that model we will use our HTTP client so we'll come back here we should refresh it's supposed to be HTTP client model this one so we'll have different on a model if I refresh it again and we have a list of uh, our static it is so at the moment we have problem uh, control no uh, close our origin so the reason for uh, this is basically uh, we need to enable a uh, course in our uh, API because at the moment it's hitting a uh, course so we need to enable that the best way to do it is to install the Django course uh, headers a uh, plugin so to do that we need to copy that and we go into our 
mm, Django and then I can close the server Control C and I will paste pip install Django course we have our virtual, virtual, virtual environment activated so we install this that's done next thing we need to add course headers inside our settings so we go settings install tabs we put course headers I will save it next thing what we need to do is we need to copy those also put it inside uh, our settings inside middleware I will save it and the last thing what we need to do is whether we do a cross origin allow all or we can do uh, like this so basically if you use this option you will actually allow certain certain uh, hosts to to have access to your api and what we can do is actually we run it on this local host uh, 4200 and we can use this only so we'll allow only from this uh, host we don't need that or that and I will save it now we need to start the server server is running let's try again our application and you can see here list of the movies is coming from our API we misspelled Titanic so you can see here if I will click here that's uh, misspelled here and we also uh, have it here so now the communication in between application uh, has been done and you can see here if I will refresh the entire application you can see this is the uh, this is the request we're sending to our server I will make it bigger and we have response here we can do preview and this is uh, what I'm getting from the server and we can see all the information there and we display that on in here in the next section I will show you how we can do other uh, methods at the moment we have get so what's missing is a uh, put post delete and also I will show you uh, another trick how we can optimize this this method for a list view and also for a specific uh, view so that will be in the next uh, video